Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today, I will be sharing some tips that have helped me survive the first year of college. So, without further ado, let's get started. The first tip is to know your professors. So, you will be, you will be probably choosing your classes in college. So, if I were you, you have to know which is the best professors to pick. You guys might have the Rate My Professors or like a Facebook group of a professors to pick for your university. You will be able to see past students' feedback about that prof and this helps to know if your professor will be a terror prof or a good one. You will also know if the professor likes giving more application-based projects or quizzes and whether or not the professor curves. Now, this helped me to know what kind of tests the professors give and what to take note about the professor as well as whether this professor requires all the effort or just minimal effort to get a good grade on that subject. Next is don't take once a week classes. I'm not sure if your university offers classes once a week, but if they do, please don't take it. Unless, of course, it's like a PE subject. These once a week classes usually last for 4 hours straight, which is torture since most people's focus is only around 30 minutes to maybe at most 2 hours. So doing 4 hour lecture will just be a waste of time since your brain will most likely not take in the information in the latter half of the 4 hour class. So I suggest to take classes that meet about 2-3 to three times per week since these classes are normally 1 hour to an hour and 30 minutes at most. Next is to structure your class schedule. Now the biggest difference between high school and college is the schedule. In high school, you most likely have a structured schedule made by the school where you have classes from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. But in college, you are free to choose how you like to schedule your subjects. So if you are a night owl, you can make the first class around maybe 9, 10 a.m. While the early birds can have their classes around 7 to 8 a.m. That way, you can structure your classes on the times you are most awake and productive so that it is easier to focus on the lecture and absorb more information from the lecture. Now, just make sure you don't put three consecutive classes all in one go. Like, for example, you'll have a math class from 10 to 11, then 11 to 12 you'll have an English class, and then from 12 to 1 you have a physics class. My tip here is to just schedule around 10 to 15 minutes of leeway time from each subject so your brain has enough time to rest and also this could be the time to run to your next class if it is located in another building than your previous class. Next is to not cramp. So if you've watched my previous video about my Atenea experience, you would know that cramming in college is harder than in high school since College assignments take longer to complete and college quizzes cover more content than in high school. This is why I suggest to start doing the assignments on the date is given or at most 3 days before the due date. For tests, I recommend studying at least a week before the exam or at most 3 days before the exam. Now, I know that avoiding cramming for your hosting college is not possible. So what I recommend is to cram only the easy subjects. And these subjects are the ones with minimal content or the information is just easier to digest or maybe the ones whose profs are more lenient in checking so you don't have to put that much effort but don't do this all the time. Next is to get a planner. So whether you are a high school or college student, please get a planner whether it be physical or digital. We as humans frequently forget stuff and forgetting a deadline of an assignment or exam is deadly. Don't just leave the planner in your dorm, bring it with you to every class you go so that when the teacher announces an exam or assignment, you can immediately write it down on your planner. Always look at your planner every day so that you will be reminded of the upcoming tests and assignments you will be having. Next is to focus on major subjects. So some universities have a lot of general subjects that may not be aligned to your major. So if I were you, prioritize your major subjects first before your general subjects since grades in major subjects are more important when a company looks at your transcript. This does not mean of course you should fail or not even care about your general subjects. 
or just try to give a bit more importance to your major subjects. But of course, if you can get high grades on both general and major subjects, then I encourage you to do that and you must be really amazing to be able to balance them. Next is to delete all distracting apps. Now, delete all apps that may distract you like TikTok, Instagram, Twitter since having them on your phone will just make you all the more distracted from your studies since the app is just a click away from using. If you delete it, you will have to put effort into going to the App Store or to the Play Store to download it again and spend some time waiting for it to download and to finish downloading so you have lesser chances of using those distracting apps since it takes so much time and effort to download them back again. Lastly, join clubs or orgs that interest you. Most people join orgs for the titles and as a way to flaunt or get better credentials for their resume. So while these things may be nice, you won't be able to give your full effort there if you don't have the interest or passion in that org. So if I were you, join maybe around 1 to 3 orgs that interest you and from there you can start trying to run for positions and since you're passionate about these orgs then you'll be able to give your 110% effort whether you are just a member of the org or a president of the org. And those are all the tips that helped me through my first year of college. So I hope these tips will help you in your college journey. And if you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to be notified for new videos. Do comment also what is the best tip that helped you survive high school or college. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!